This program is designed and produced by the community with the support of TV Kojiko. Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of Up to Date. I'm from the County Renfrew, Bruce McIntyre. With me, County Renfrew Warden Peter Remo. Hello. Good day to you, sir. This week, I want to talk about a really growing, emerging industry uh, in the County of Renfrew, which is tourism. Um, historically, we've been uh, founded on forestry, agriculture, manufacturing. But as we've seen in the last 10, 20 years, those industries have slowly you know, uh, regressed, and we've seen the emerging growth of tourism. So today I just want to let our viewers know about the County of Renfrew, the investment they're making. Uh, we're making into tourism and how it affects our local economy and the long-range plan that the county is, is implementing this. So mm -hmm. let's start at the beginning. Um, you've been around for a while. And uh, this year we've seen a big, big push with the Ottawa Valley Tourist Association and, and the, the real investments. Talk about the investment the county's made with that. Well, there was a, um, there was a time OBTA was underfunded. Uh, frankly, uh, and uh, they have had done a great job of going out and partnering with their members and with other with other levels of government and, and with various county departments to bring events together and to and and to put together promotions. Um, we, as the the lead partner, and then also the city of Pembroke, uh, came to realize that we really had to stabilize their funding mm -hmm. first, and then secondly, uh, uh, have some input into their into their uh, into their agenda and, and their long-range planning, so that we've re we've renegotiated the uh, the terms of uh, understanding between ourselves and the, and the city, and the city's been great to work with. Uh, and now the OVTA is going forward with a new agenda, which which is tourism. They're still going to it's the same one, but it's a little broader. It's going to be a little a little more emphasis on social media, a little more emphasis on pulling in in events uh, across the area, and. Uh, they uh, they've embraced that and they're and they're going forward with it. So that they're a, they're a great addition, or not an addition, a great benefit to the whole the whole community, all of the county of Renfrew, and all of the individual communities within it. And with the OPTA, you know, Alberta, for lack of a better word, they capitalize on the resources of oil and natural mm -hmm. resources. Uh, down east used to be fisheries, and in the county of Renfrew, it's the beautiful landscape we have. So why not capitalize on that and uh, make it to the full benefit? And for the the in in economy itself, it's a huge, huge influx of money. It, really it is. generates uh, tourism generates 120 million dollars a year into the county of Renfrew, uh, not to the corporation itself, but to the to the county, the geographic county, uh, all the businesses and 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 people within it within it. It uh, it uh, really sells the the notion that uh, you know the premier the premier's destination report, which came out last March, I believe, and it talked about the three uh, the three uh, main areas in Redford yep. County. One was the uh, Whitewater region, and the next is uh, outdoor activities, hiking, motorcycles, ATV, snowmobiling, and then the third was the Calabogie area with. Uh, the peaks and mm -hmm. Calgary Motorsports and the golf course and, and just the, the whole resort themed or individual themed uh, active mm -hmm. recreation experience. And so th those things, uh, OVTA and OTO, the Ontario Highlands Tourism Organization, uh, latched onto that. And so now they're promoting those things and helping bring those, the um, components, all of the uh, individual operators and the municipalities and the county together with the province to start promoting that this area, those areas, and then also the events within those areas. Yeah, as I say with that report, they uh, they do say that the water base, the white water uh, rafting, the Ottawa River experience, mm -hmm. the just the number of natural lakes that promote the fishing, and just the visitors that come in, is it, the, the numbers are astounding, hundreds of thousand visitors. Yes, sir. Uh, but there's, a, I believe, 590,000 uh, visitors come uh, overnight for overnight stays, and then another 300,000 come uh, for, uh, for uh, uh, a little longer stays yeah. and they come for any number of reasons whether it's skiing fishing uh, museums museums bring some like 34,000 people a year which you wouldn't think of you wouldn't think centers. of being, being exactly. a tractor exactly and I was surprised because it was a, the group came to the uh, county to county council mm -hmm. a, a couple of months back and presented and there are probably I think there's 35 36 or 37 different museums and and sites like that for people so you could spend 
probably a month going to each one of them from the, from the sounds of what they were presenting. I've only been to a couple of them and fully intend to do more this summer. And a big thing this year, um, being the 400th, 400th anniversary of uh, Champlain's uh, visit, I know the Champlain Museum in uh, Pembroke's kind of taking the lead on trying to plan ceremonies around the Ottawa River, around the, the Champlain experience. So that's going to be a nice little tourist draw for people coming in. But I mean, there, there are so many areas um, for our viewers, if you've just moved to the county or you know the area, there's so much to explore, there really is. Um, you've got, well, as I mentioned, your neck of the woods, you have uh, the peaks, you have the racetrack. Uh, you have the, a lot of trails. You've done a lot of investment in trails down there. We've, we have a lot of trails and also all across the county as well. Municipalities are, are starting to, to develop more trails. Uh, you look at the Emerald Necklace Trail in uh, Petawawa. You look at the KMP Trail, which is owned by the County of Renfrew, which runs from Renfrew down through my municipality. Um, you also look at Madawaska Valley. I know they have a, a number of trails up through there. And then uh, Whitewater has some too that I'm aware of. I've, I've hiked a couple of those. Um, it's a cheap way of doing it and it's surprising the volume of people that when you drive by those trailheads during the, the months, the summer months from May through until the end of November, there might be 10 or 15 cars parked in a lot of those and I've noticed some in the winter too. I think they're using the same trails for cross country skiing or, or for winter hiking and I've seen people using horses on some of them too so it's and, multi use. And the nice thing about it is being promoted not just a, a one season but a multi season. That's right. uh, it's not just uh, the summer events, but the winter brings in a lot of visitors and, and uh, cash as well. Yeah, people like to be active and they like to be challenged. And uh, the hiking experiences uh, in uh, all across the county uh, and using Crown Land as well, because we're 7,000 square kilometers and 60% of the county is Crown Land, so that's a lot of land. And each one of those are pretty unique as well. Something that uh, takes place each year is the annual general meeting of the OBTA. And what does that, what, tell us a lot of viewers a bit about that. Well, what happens is the, uh, all of the members gather together. They have a, a day of presentation from some learned person who comes in and talks about a topic, uh, social media a few years ago, uh, group advertising this year, OTO uh, two years ago talking about Ontario Highlands. Uh, it's at Calabogie Peaks again this year, April 23rd. And uh, it's always a, a good event because there's lots of information comes out and they start talking about trends and initiatives for the next three, two, three, four, five years. And they, uh, they nominate and elect their board of governors as well. Okay. So if you want to go whitewater rafting, you want to go hiking, you want to go snowmobiling, County Renfrew, Ottawa Valley is the place to be. On the screen at the end, you'll see an ad, a website show up for the Ottawa Valley uh, Tourist Association. Log on there. They have interactive for maps and routes and everything else. And find your way around all seasons. That's it. Seven minutes comes by fast and up to date. I'm Bruce McIntyre, more than Peter Emo. We'll see you next time.